continue to look at the top of the ticket matchup in Wisconsin next Tuesday. Incumbent Governor Scott Walker faces State Superintendent Tony Evers in the race for the State House. Governor Walker, through his team, declined our request for a one on one interview, but political reporter Jessica Arp has a look at where he stands on some issues. After holding office for nearly eight years, Governor Scott Walker is running for a third and what he says would be a final term, saying he's not done reforming the state. Running against the state superintendent, Walker has rolled out education initiatives, including a change in public school funding. We asked him about it at an event in Janesville. So you said yesterday that you, or you've said that you want to fund schools by two-thirds at this point. Explain how you would pay for that. Where does the money come from? Well, we have uh, yet another budget surplus. So we've done it eight years in a row. Remember, uh, Jim Doyle uh, gave us a $3.6 billion budget deficit. We've had a surplus every year. Two years ago, our budget included Eleven and a half billion dollars for schools. That's an all-time high. Now, that's the largest actual dollar investment in schools in state history. It's only a slight jump up from where we were at two years ago. And remember, Tony Evers at the time called that budget a pro-kid budget. He said his priorities were aligned with our priorities. Because that's what he said when he was running for his third term for superintendent. He obviously now says something different, but the facts remain. We were able to do that two years ago and still lower property taxes, just like Tommy Thompson did years ago. I voted for that budget when we. When we funded schools at two-thirds and still reduced property taxes, but we're able to do that going forward. In your last budget, you essentially eliminated the state portion of the property tax, which is why you talk often about reducing property taxes for the state. How would you lower property taxes in an upcoming budget, given that almost all of the remaining property tax comes from schools local and local governments? By keeping in place the, the uh, uh, property tax limits we've had in the past on uh, local governments, continue to put historic levels of funding in uh, so that those dollars can go in the classroom and support good programs for student success. We did that in, the, in uh, each of our budgets. But how can you guarantee that, given that it's essentially local governments and schools who will decide what property taxes are at? Well, the limits in place have done that. That's, that's why, not just this budget, but previous budgets, that's why property taxes went down, was because uh, we put property tax limits in place. Uh, those are things that uh, we're able to do, and because we give uh, schools and local governments funding, it allows them to fund uh, our key priorities without raising property taxes along the way. Uh, the key is just leadership. And Tony Evers talks a good game these days. He makes billions of dollars of promises. He promises every group just about everything imaginable. Uh, but he hasn't shown how to lead on that for years uh, before he was uh, running for governor. He was advocating uh, raising taxes, lifting property taxes, and other things like that. I think that's the clear contrast. But Walker's leadership has also been in question as four former cabinet secretaries have publicly criticized his administration and leadership. We asked him about it at the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association debate. But Jessica, to your specific question, it's simple. I'm not afraid to have people with diverse opinions in my cabinet. For years, I had a cabinet member who wanted to raise the gas tax, and I told the voters clearly I would never raise the gas tax without an equal or greater reduction elsewhere uh, in, in their tax burden overall. Uh, even in addition to my cabinet, when I was in county government, I had a member of the cabinet there who worked for a Democrat uh, in the United States Congress, and I even had a personal aide in the past who worked for Joe Lieberman, who was a running mate with Al Gore when he ran for president in 2000. I'm not afraid to have people with diverse opinions out there, but what I always will do is be straight with the voters of the state of Wisconsin. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'll follow up and do it. And don't forget to vote. You can vote start vote early in Madison now and vote next Tuesday. And the director of the Market Law School poll, Charles Franklin, will be with us here in the studio tomorrow to discuss the results of his latest poll. It's tied. Still